right, so we're doing this practice problem. So you went through, gave it a try. If you got stuck, here's maybe some spots you might have gotten stuck at. So when we're identifying those variables, we're looking at the units, we're looking at the names, we're using that sheet, okay? So starts at zero, because they didn't tell me where it starts, starts at rest, and then they said the final angular speed it gets up to is 78 revolutions per minute. And I know it says constant in there, so that might have thrown you off, but it still has to speed up and then it maintains that at a constant 78. So we're looking at that speed up portion. Um, because it's in revolutions per minute, you do have to convert to radians per second before you can plug it in. And then it's the same calculations as the example we just did before this, where you use equation number one to find alpha. We'll then use alpha in equation number two to find theta. It does come out in radians. It does ask for the number of degrees. So you will have to do a little conversion factor here that there's 180 degrees and pi radians is the same thing to get 819 if you stored your answers properly, this will come out to exactly 819.